my name is Kai Morton and I'm 14 years old. I've been programming since I was 12 and along the way I've learned multiple coding languages. I'm an avid video gamer and artist. I play the bass and guitar as well as run track, so you can only imagine how busy my schedule tends to be. I believe that this generation of girls of color will be the new tech innovators who will revolutionize the face of technology. And today we're going to explain to you how Rebecca, Sharmi, and I are taking a step towards becoming innovators with an app that we created during a recent hackathon. Hi, I'm Sharmi Butterfield and I'm a 10 year old homeschooled fifth grader who makes apps, video games, and animations. I have a new app to sell my dolls called Doll Finder that is available in now Google Play and will be released on iPhone and iPad by Christmas. I believe all schools should teach programming. Ah, I believe all schools should teach tech starting in the first grade. My college age kids should know a programming language. This will help kids compete globally both at the college level and in the workplace of tomorrow. I'm Rebecca Taylor and I'm 14 years old. I've been homeschooled since kindergarten and enjoy Niners football, Giants baseball, also Pokemon, and Sam and Cat. <clears throat> I have been coming since March of this year and have made several projects, including one of my favorite projects is a game that is about a fire-breathing duck, rubber duck named Larry, that teaches you Mandarin. My dream one day is to <laughs> code, voice, write, and direct my own game. Our goal for the recent hackathon was to create an app that would help our community, so we came up with the idea of getting food to people in need. We then created a basic wireframe that allowed us to create a working MVP. Our next, we settled on this because when we examined the problems that faced our communities, hunger, food waste, and food accessibility were some of the biggest problems, so we want to alleviate this by creating an app we call Food Bank that would get food to people in need and make it more efficient and effective. 1.3 million people live in poverty in the Bay Area, and 700,000 of them rely on food banks. We interviewed Mayor Kwan about the scarcity of funding for these programs and discussed how our app could make more food available. The final story order of our app took more than three hours to, to finalize. After that came the hard part, which was making it come to life, which took about five hours. <laughs> the solution to the problem was an app called Food Bank, which connects suppliers, like people who own restaurants and grocery stores who have excess food or out-of-season items, with distributors who, ha who own churches and nonprofits. And the second app we made is a companion app called Feed Me that connects the distributors with the hungry, needy consumers. The consumers can view notifications, search the database, reserve food, and find easy recipes. To incentivize companies to use our apps, businesses would receive tax write-offs and save millions of food from going to waste, and instead go to homeless people, and that would generate good publicity for their name. Our next step for a food bank is to expand on our companion app, Feed Me, along with making it fully functional, and create a fourth user interface for volunteers, and then use Google Maps API to pinpoint the exact location of the food. Black Girls Code teaches girls how to be content creators by offering classes of app making, web developing, and game making, taught by volunteers from leading tech companies. In a nurturing environment, girls are exposed to technology that is often unavailable to them in their community. There is a shortage of women and people of color in tech, and we must level the playing fields to give us opportunities for us to tell our own stories. This past summer, BGC had a week-long build mobile app workshop, which Charmaine and I attended in Oakland. We both built apps, and at the end of the week, we presented our apps at Facebook HQ and met Facebook CEO Cheryl Sandberg. A couple months earlier, another Black Girls Code team that included Rebecca and I went to the TechCrunch Disrupt Hackathon in San Francisco, where we created an app that would allow users to find BTC classes near them. When girls, when girls hack, something amazing can happen. When girls hack, they create positive change in their communities. When girls hack, they change their path of life.
lucky. We're lucky to have these guys or what? That was a lot more than I hoped it was going to be. It was so terrific. Um, all right, hard act to follow. <laughs> so um, next. Um,